Okay, today we will start with penicillin. So, what is meant by penicillin? They are group of antibiotics produced by the mold penicillinium notatum otherwise penicillium chrysogenum so what is the source for that penicillium notatum or penicillium chrysogenum okay now we'll see the chemistry of penicillin first this would be the structure of penicillin so it is having two rings already we have known this ring is called as beta lactam ring so what is beta lactam why it is called beta lactam i mean according to carbonyl this is alpha this is beta so beta carbon is attached with the nitrogen with respect to that carbonyl that's why it is called beta lactam okay what is meant by lactam cyclic amide four member cyclic amide that is called as lactam and here beta carbon is connected with nitrogen that's why it is called as beta lactam so first it is having beta lactam ring that one is fused with the thiazolidin ring what is meant by thiazole five membered ring having two heteroatoms that is sulfur and nitrogen at one three means that is called as thiazole but that should have two bonds if one bond is left that is called as thiazolin it is not having any bond that's why it is called thiazolidin okay so it is the fusion of two rings one is beta lactam ring another one is thiazolidin ring okay and it is having side chain so this is the side chain so what is that acyl amino group r is alkyl r co is acyl acyl amino side chain and this portion we have two methyl groups and one more carboxylic acid group is present in penicillin so what are all present in penicillin it is having beta lactam ring and that is fused with the thiazolidin ring and thiazolidin ring is having dimethyl groups and carboxylic acid group and this beta lactam is connected with acyl amino group okay so now we'll see the numbering so this is according to chemical abstract system that is the one we are following okay so already we have known the priority order is o s n so sulfur is getting higher priority so according to that one two three four five six seven so in second portion we have dimethyl groups and in third one carboxylic acid and in sixth portion we have acyl amino this is according to chemical abstract system but according to united states pharmacopoeia that is according to esp system this is the reverse of that chemical abstract system so here nitrogen is getting higher priority so nitrogen is one one two three four five six seven so the dimethyl groups are attached with third portion and carboxylic acid no that is present in second portion same sixth portion is having acyl amino group okay now we'll see so we have known the structure of penicillin this would be the structure of penicillin so we can divide this divide like this so what you are getting so this one is this one and this part is this one so what is that same ch ch3 ch3 here ch cooh nh2 so this is called valin so this part no sh ch um, ch2 ch nh2 cooh so this part no that is called as cysteine okay so these two no cysteine and valin these two are the biosynthetic precursors for penicillin okay so what are the biosynthetic precursors used for penicillin one is cysteine another one is valin now we have that co no we are getting the CO that is depends on the components of fermentation media for example if you have taken corn steep liquid as a medium means that is having high amount of phenyl acetic acid so from that we are getting that benzyl group so benzyl is coming from corn steep liquid that's why instead of R I mean instead of R we are putting that benzyl means that is called benzyl penicillin okay now we'll see the nomenclature of penicillin So under the nomenclature first we will see what is meant by penum. So penum is the basic nucleus for penicillin. So what is penum? Fusion of two rings. One is beta lactam ring, another one is thiazolidin ring. So fusion of beta lactam ring with thiazolidin ring can be called as penum. So this is a bicyclic system and that is not having any substitution other than that ketone. Okay, so it is a unsubstituted bicyclic system containing amide carbonyl. Okay. So what is the chemical name for penum? we have uh, sulfur at first portion and um, fourth portion we have nitrogen that's why one thia four as a bicyclo two rings that's why bicyclo and here we have no according to that here we have three carbon at three atoms that's why three so according to the this end is having two atoms okay two groups would be attached so two here nothing would be attached in this line that's why three two zero so 3, 2, 0, 7, car 7 atoms, 1, 2, 3, totally 7, no, that's why heptane and 7th one is having ketone, that's why 7 won. So, what is the chemical name for penum? 1, thia, 4, aza, 2 rings, that's why bicyclo, according to the 3 groups, okay, 3, 
2 here nothing would be attached that's why 0 3 2 0 7 so hepten 7 won so that is the chemical name for penum so according now see the structure of penicillin so other than penum what are all attached second portion we have dimethyl groups and third portion we have carboxylic acid and in sixth portion acyl amino group so other than penum what are all attached dimethyl at second portion and third portion carboxylic acid and sixth portion we have acyl amino group that's why the chemical name for penicillin according to penum is 6 acyl amino 2 2 dimethyl penum 3 carboxylic acid so that is the chemical name according to penum for penicillin now we'll see what is penicillinic acid okay so what is penicillinic acid other than penum ring what are all attached second portion we have dimethyl groups and in third portion we have carboxylic acid so other than that we have dimethyl and carboxylic acid so that is the structure for penicillinic acid okay now we'll tell the chemical name of penicillin now we'll tell the chemical name of penicillin based on penicillinic acid okay so here what what is left here uh, compare the penicillin with penicillinic acid the acyl amino group is not present here so that's why it is penicillin is called 6 acyl amino penicillinic acid now look at this so other than penicillinic acid 6 portion it is having what is the, what is present here amino group that's why it is called 6 amino penicillinic acid that is the active nucleus of penicillin what is the basic nucleus of penicillin that is called as penum what is the active nucleus of penicillin that is called 6 amino penicillinic acid otherwise 6 a a p a so that is called active nucleus okay now we'll see the penicillin so this would be the structure for penicillin this is the structure of penicillin now we'll tell the chemical name of penicillin already we have said the chemical name for that penum so what is the chemical name for penum 1 thia 4 asa bicyclo here 3 here 2 0 so 3 2 0 hepten 7 atoms hepten 7 own okay so here if it is having ketone that should end with ketone so end uh, should end with own but it is having ketone and also carboxylic acid so it should end with carboxylic acid okay so here we have ketone no that is represented as oxo as a prefix okay so here what is the chemical name 6 acyl amino 2 2 dimethyl 7 oxo again bicyclo 3 2 0 hepten 3 carboxylic acid so that is the chemical name for penicillin so what is the basic nucleus for penicillin that is the penum and what is the active nucleus of penicillin that is 6 amino penicillinic acid now we'll see the classification of penicillin depending upon the nature penicillin would be classified into natural penicillins semi-synthetic penicillins and penicillins with beta lactamase inhibitors and penicillin combination now we'll see the first step natural penicillins otherwise called biosynthetic penicillins okay examples are benzyl penicillin otherwise called penicillin g 2 pentenyl penicillin otherwise penicillin f 3 pentenyl penicillin phenoxymethyl penicillin otherwise called penicillin b zero allergy penicillin otherwise penicillin o n pentyl penicillin n heptyl penicillin this is called penicillin k para hydroxy benzyl penicillin otherwise penicillin x so these are all coming under natural penicillins okay now semi synthetic penicillins that would be divided into penicillinase resistance penicillin and penicillinase sensitive penicillins again that would be classified into oral and parenteral and the oral examples are oxacillin cloxacillin dicloxacillin and the parenteral methicillin nafazillin okay under penicillinase sensitive again would be classified into oral and parenteral and the oral ampicillin amoxicillin under parenteral carb penicillin tycosylin piperacillin penicillinase resistance penicillin so not inactivated by penicillinase enzyme this enzyme otherwise called beta lactamase okay that is produced by some bacteria and here this penicillinase sensitive no that can be inactivated by penicillinase enzyme now third one penicillins with beta lactamase inhibitors examples are amoxicillin with clavulanic acid and ticosylin with clavulanic acid and the last one penicillin combination prokine penicillin and benzoatin penicillin these are all classified on the basis of nature okay now based on spectrum of activity so in that first type would be effective against gram positive bacteria examples are benzyl penicillin ampicillin and doxicillin second one effective against gram negative temozillin then examples for broad spectrum penicillin ampicillin amoxicillin carbenicillin and becampicillin these three know ampicillin amoxicillin becampicillin are having and they are having nh2 that's why they are these three are called amino penicillin 
now acid resistant penicillins examples are benzathen penicillin phenoxy methyl penicillin phenoxy ethyl phenoxy propyl penicillin then narrow spectrum penicillin examples are penicillin g penicillin v floxacillin cloxacillin mesilanum okay and the last one ex extended spectrum penicillin otherwise called anti pseudomonal penicillin examples are ampicillin amoxicillin pivampicillin carbenicillin carfacillin ticacillin piperacillin asclozillin mesclozillin this three no these are having an issue that's why they are called amino penicillins okay and these three no they are called carboxylic penicillins last three called urido penicillin they are having urido group okay and this pivampicillin no this is the pivaloyl oxymethyl ester of ampicillin and this one carfacillin is a phenyl derivative of carbenicillin and this asclozillin no this is the azyl azyl ampicillin okay so this extended spectrum penicillin no they are otherwise called anti pseudomonal penicillin and this one no penicillinase resistance penicillins they are called anti staphylococcal penicillins now we'll see the structure of penicillin so we have known the structure already so what is that it is having a beta lactam nucleus that one is fused with a thiazole leaden ring and in second portion we have dimethyl group and in third one third one carboxyl group and in sixth portion we have azyl amino group so based on r the penicillin would be grouped okay so instead of r this benzyl group would be attached benzyl already we have known only c6h5 means that is called phenyl c6h5co that is called benzoyl c6h5ch2 that is called benzyl so this benzyl group is attached means that is called benzyl penicillin that is otherwise called penicillin g okay instead of r this group is attached this is phenyl oxy so phenoxy methyl phenoxy methyl group is attached that is called phenoxy methyl penicillin otherwise penicillin b so this one is already we have known this is benzyl so para para um, portion would be attached with the hydroxy group that's why para hydroxy benzyl means that is called penicillin x this is phenoxy ethyl phenoxy ethyl group is attached instead of r means that is called phenoxy ethyl penicillin otherwise penicillin then this is phenoxy propyl group is attached means that is called propicillin then 2,6 dimethoxy phenyl means that is called methicillin 2 ethoxy this is first question 2 ethoxy naphthyl means naphcillin otherwise naphacillin here we have known this is isoxazole okay so with the isoxazole what are all attached fifth portion we have methyl and third portion phenyl so it is called 5 methyl 3 phenyl fourth portion of isoxazole would be attached with the cons that's why 5 methyl 3 phenyl 4 isoxazole group that is attached instead of r means that is called oxazolin okay and that phenyl is having chlorine at second portion means that is called as cloxacillin two chlorines at two and six that can be called dicloxacillin this we have known this is benzyl so alpha carbon is connected with amino group means that is alpha amino benzyl means that is called ampicillin okay so this is alpha carbon is attached with um, amino group and the para portion is attached with hydroxy so alpha amino para hydroxy benzyl so benzyl here hydroxy uh, hydroxy group is attached with the para portion and amino is attached with the alpha portion so alpha amino this is alpha alpha amino para hydroxy benzyl means that is called amoxicillin okay we have known this is called cyclohexane in that first portion is connected with nh2 so one amino cyclohexyl means that is called cyclacillin and next one we have known this is benzyl alpha carbon is attached with the carboxy group so alpha carboxy benzyl means that is called carbenicillin this we have known this is called thiophene if it is coming in the middle that is called thiene okay this is called alpha carbon thiene is connected with i mean third portion is connected with the carbon so that carbon is called alpha carbon so it is called alpha alpha carboxy 3 thienyl that can be called ticarcillin and next one here we have benzyl with the benzyl water all attached this amino group carbonyl group and this is called piperazine okay so here what is attached this is um, 4 ethyl everything would be attached to alpha carbon that's why 4 ethyl 2 3 dioxo piperazine 1 yl or 1 piperazinyl carbonyl amino amino benzyl group so that can be called as piperazilin and the last one
so look at this this is called imidazolin okay so what it is with the alpha carbon first portion is connected with methane sulfonyl so one methane sulfonyl two oxo three imidazolino carbonyl amino benzyl group is attached instead of r means that is called mesosilane that's all 